here's a news at 10. First, the highlights. Lagos State Governor restates commitment to providing clean water, raises spendings to water sanitation sector. Nigerian Education Loan Fund approves disbursement of student loan to successful applicants. On the foreign scene, authorities foil coup attempt as Bolivian armed forces withdraw from presidential palace. And in sport, Nigeria Premier Football League announces date for new season. Now the details are am um, Dele Agadumo. Lagos State Governor Babajide Somolu says his administration has raised spendings to water and sanitation sector in the last four years, noting that it considered provision of clean water as human right. Speaking at the 2024 Lagos International Water Conference organized by Lagos State Water Regulatory Commission, LASWACO, with the theme, Financing Water and Sanitation for a Brutal Lagos, Governor Sawolu said the current cholera crisis in the country would have spiraled out of control if Lagos State government had not been proactive in controlling the spread of the waterborne epidemic. The governor said the quick activation of the state's incident command mechanism and surveillance system helped in controlling the contagious disease. According to him, Lagos remains the most burdened state as the epidemic spikes in 31 states, with fatality rates put at 3.5% since the beginning of the year. Governor Samuelu linked the spread of cholera to the drop in sanitation at the community level and the intake of contaminated water, stating that the nation's vulnerability to waterborne diseases reinforces the need for collaboration between the government and development partners to resolve issues surrounding provision of clean water. Lagos State Government has emphasized the importance of the phase of the ease of doing business uh, to the present administration as it is embedded under security and governance, which is a pillar of the governor of Bajidisawalu's themes plus agenda. Head of Service, Olabode Aguru, stated this at the evening ceremony of the 2024 engagement with the business community on the procurement process organized by the Lagos State Public Procurement Agency with the theme, creating a user-friendly system and a customer-friendly environment. Aguru, who was represented by the Secretary, Lagos State Staff Housing Board, Abdul Rafi Fashala, expressed belief that regular engagement between government agencies, service providers, and the customers on the procurement process will not only facilitate mutual understanding among all parties, but also serves as a catalyst for sustainable means of doing business in Lagos State. According to him, it is appropriate for the Lagos State Public Procurement Agency to regularly interface and engage with service providers, civil society, organizations and other categories of stakeholders in a bid to keep them abreast of new development in public procurement policies and processes and as well receive valuable feedbacks from stakeholders. In his good old message, Chairman House Committee on Procurement in the State House of Assembly, Samuel Abata, noted that the House is resolutely committed to ensuring ease of doing business in the state and shall not hesitate to amend any section of the Lagos Public Procurement Agency law that may require amendment to achieve this objective. The Lagos State Government has restated commitments to provide a modern, safe, secure, convenient and reliable bus transportation system that integrates other modes of public transport to reduce traffic congestion on roads. Commissioner for Transportation, Uluwa Shim Oshiemi, stated this during the inauguration of Lagos Bus Services Limited, LBSL, SICB, and the commemoration of the company's fifth year business anniversary. Oshiemi said the company had in the last five years provided transport services and serves as direct interface with Lagosians to provide affordable transport system. The transportation model in Lagos is one that is um, intermodal and um, integrated. So um, to know that we use the land, well, and the water. Uh, for the land, of course, we try as much as possible to move um, 
numbers on the top of high capacity buses. Um, that is for so many reasons. One of the reasons being um, we are able to reduce the number of cars on the road, and secondly, for um, environmental issues. Um, the bigger buses, of course, um, the more bigger buses you have, the less smaller car and the less carbon emission. You know, and um, that will be a separate major in this um, space. Earlier in his welcome address, the Managing Director and the Chief Executive Officer, Lagos Bus Services Limited, LBSL, Idu Ugutono, said since it began operations, the company has been a key player in transforming mass transit buses in the state. Ugutono noted that the company is also committed to sustainability, promoting environmental improvement and combating climate change through innovative transition Solutions. Born with a new chapter, I'm filled with optimism and excitement for the future of LBSL. The next five years is a promise of new opportunities, new milestones to achieve, and new heights to conquer. Together, we will continue to innovate, collaborate, and lead, ensuring that LBSL remains at the forefront of our sector and becomes a dominant service provider within the transit sector in Nigeria and the industry reference point in Africa. The event was graced by dignitaries, including Chairman, House Committee on Transportation, Timitokwe Adiwali, Special Advisor to the Lagos State Governor on Transportation, Shalagiwa, Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Transportation, Olawali Musa, Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer, Lamata Abimbola Akinajo, among others. Now to the rest of the stories. The Nigerian Education Loan Fund, NEL Fund, has approved the disbursement of student loan to successful applicants. NEL Fund held its inaugural board meeting on Wednesday, marking a milestone in its mission to support students with financial aid. This was revealed in a statement titled, NEL Fund holds inaugural board meeting as student loan disbursement tops agenda signed by its head, media and public relations, Nasir Ayutogo. The meeting was attended by the funds management and representatives of member organizations and laid the groundwork for future initiatives to enhance educational opportunities and support students across various disciplines. The federal government and the Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, have met to avert an industrial action by the union. The party, which started at about 4.30 yesterday evening at the Ministry at the Minister of Education's office in Abuja, ended around 6.40 p.m. As the President, Imano Oshodeke, said the meeting was necessary as the present administration had spent one year in office without addressing issues affecting the university system. Both sides expressed optimism that with the commencement of negotiations, all outstanding issues would be amicably resolved. To drive progress in sub-Saharan Africa, energy market, stakeholders, government officials, regulators and key industry players will converge on Abuja, Nigeria for the 2024 NOG Energy Week to deliberate on policies aimed at meeting West Africa's energy demand. The event themed showcasing opportunities, driving investment, meeting energy demand is scheduled to hold between 30th June and 4th July at the International Conference Center ICC Abuja. The director of GMG Events Nigeria, Wemimo Oyelano, said the platform is almost 25 years has helped in almost 25 years has helped industry leaders proffer solutions to different challenges facing the industry noting that the energy energy week has also contributed significantly to key policy development and implementation Oyelano said that stated that the stakeholders would discuss pertinent issues including attracting international and regional funding into Nigeria's energy sector, optimizing the significance of natural gas as the fuel of choice and driving industrialization as a catalyst for economic growth. Those expected include Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, Oil, 
Anakin Lubudiri, Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, Gas, Minister of Energy, Ghana, Matthew Prempe, Commission Chief Executive of the Nigerian Upstream Petroleum Regulatory Commission, NUPRC, Benga Kumulafe, Chief Executive, Nigerian Midstream and Downstream Petroleum Regulatory Authority, NMDPRA, Farouk Ahmed, and Group Chief Executive Officer, NMPC Limited, Mele Kiari. Now to foreign news. Bolivian armed forces have pulled back from the presidential palace in La Paz and a general was arrested after President Luis Arce slammed a coup attempt against the government and called for international support. Military units led by General Juan Jose Zuniga, who was recently stripped of his military command earlier yesterday, gathered in the Central Plaza Murillo Square, home to the Presidential Palace and Congress. A witness says an armed vehicle rammed a door of the Presidential Palace and soldiers rushed in. The report says soldiers have withdrawn from the square as police took control of the plaza, noting that Bolivian authorities arrested Zuniga and took him away, though their destination was unclear. Now, sports chairman of the Nigeria Premier Football League, NPFL, Benga Elegbeleye, has announced that the new season will kick off on 31st of August. Elegbeleye said the 2023-2024 season ended last weekend with Enugu Rangers claiming the coveted title and 150 million naira prize money. The Flying Antelopes claimed the NPFL title for the eighth time, with Remo Stars finishing in second position and Aimber third. Rangers and Remo Stars will play in the CAF Champions League next season, while Aimber will represent the country in the CAF Confederation Cup. And that is the news at 10, just before we go. Always slow down at road junctions, intersections and pedestrian crossings. You can follow us on Michael Lavera's social media platforms, X Traffic Radio 961, Facebook Lagos Traffic Radio 961, Instagram Lagos Traffic Radio, or Facebook Lagos Traffic Radio 961 FM, Instagram Lagos Traffic Radio 961. Subscribe and watch our news and programs live on YouTube at Traffic Radio 961. You can also visit our website at Traffic Radio 961.ng. Did you know that the Sohola administration donated security equipment worth billions of naira to the police? You can get more details on the Lagos State Government website. To end the news, here are the highlights of the major stories. Lagos State Government, Obajide Sohola, said his administration has raised spendings to water and sanitation sector in the last four years, noting that it considered provision of clean water as human rights. The Nigeria Education Loan Fund, NEL Fund, has approved the disbursement of student loan to successful applicants. We also told you that Bolivian armed forces have pulled back from the presidential palace in La Paz and a general was arrested after President Luis Arce slammed a coup attempt against the government and called for international support. And in sport, chairman of the Nigeria Premier Football League, NPFL, Binga has announced that the new season will kick off on 31st of August. For contact in the newsroom, send a message to info at trafficradio961.ng. That is the broadcast compiled by Adirayo Ituwalaya. I am Dili Agadumo. Good morning. Thank you for listening.